Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So um, it's been a few weeks since my last video and in the time since my last video, um, YouTube announced that they're cutting out a lot of the smaller YouTubers like myself from the partner program, uh, which means that, you know, I mean, I don't earn much from this channel. I really don't, I never have. But um, every little, you know, 10 cents, 12 cents, 25 cents, um, $2, $3 per video that I've been earning, you know, has been just a little bit of encouragement to, to continue. And um, I actually found out that all three channels of mine are losing um, partner program. I have uh, a gaming channel, which I haven't updated in forever, and, and it, that one doesn't matter. Um, but I have a, a tutorial channel that has actually more um, subscribers than this channel does, and actually is the one that earns me the most money, and has far more views, but even that one isn't good enough for the, the new regulations for partner program. Um, now this channel and that channel have enough subscribers. You have to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers, which I have almost 1400 subscribers here and over 2000 on the other channel. And so that's fine. But the criteria that um, I can, I don't think I'll ever be able to reach is um, 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period. Um, this channel, um, and then 4,000 watch hours is usually, it's, it's uh, 250,000 watch minutes or 260,000, something, you know, over 200,000 watch minutes. And my other channel has um, like 186,000 watch minutes for the last year. And this channel um, is more like um, 140 or something. So like I'm just not there. I'm, I'm 100,000 minutes short. And you know, I mean, if I start making regular vlogs and everything, would I catch up? Probably not. I don't appeal to the major demographic of this, uh, of YouTube, and I never will. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, this middle-aged person who's, uh, just talks about random stuff, so yeah. So, to that end, um, obviously I haven't been, um, updating my, my vlogs regularly at all. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I just don't enjoy doing it as much as I used to. Um, I thought I could, um, reinvigorate my interest um, with doing Vlogmas last December, which I did. But to be perfectly honest, um, not really. No, I don't. Um, I do enjoy still writing um, blogs once in a while, and I do still have my, my blog, cha um, blog channel, <laughs> blog site, uh, clanagainst.com. Um, link is down below if you ever want to visit it. Um, I don't update that very regularly either, but um, I may or may not be updating that uh, more likely than doing videos again. Um, I, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm, this is like my last video ever, but it's very likely that you won't see me for a while. Um, I'll only put videos up if I feel like I have something that I really, really want to share and I really want to just talk to a camera about it rather than just posting it as a, as a blog or whatnot. Um, I'm pretty busy with all of the novels I'm working on and trying to get published and, and writing is really a bigger focus for me right now than, um, than doing videos and things. Obviously this is not a, a viable revenue stream for me at all and it, uh, you know, obviously since I'm, I'm losing monetization, I'm it's never going to be. So, um, yeah, any, any videos you see from me in the future are, you know, it's just because I really, really wanted to make one. Um, and that's about it. And so, um, you know, thanks for everyone who supported me over the last, what, six years that I've been doing, um, YouTube channel, YouTube videos and things. So I appreciate that. And like I said, I may still post things, especially because I have decided I want to start um, transitioning. I have an appointment with my doctor next month in March, and I'm going to talk to her about um, my ideas and my plans and, um, you know, get started. And I don't know if, if she needs to refer me to 
a, a, a specialist, like an endocrinologist or something, or I don't know if there's still the requirement of having to seek um, counseling first um, before you can start transitioning. I know that used to be a requirement. I don't know if that still is. So um, there's a bunch of things I need to figure out and, and learn and uh, before I can actually start uh, transitioning. And um, the, the start of that would be to, to start taking testosterone and things. So, um, you know, I may or may not start making some videos um, of that journey uh, when and if that happens. Um, and, and the other thing I've, I've definitely decided on when, when it comes to the transition and stuff is I'm going to take testosterone and I'm going to um, request to have a, a mastectomy um, or top surgery uh, just because, you know, I actually have a number of reasons why I want to get rid of my, my breasts and I've mentioned, I'm sure I mentioned this in the past, but um, I have a lot of um, medical issues um, regarding them and everything and so I, I think I have a, a good medical case to just have them removed. Uh, much less, you know, for transitioning. So those are the only two things I want to do. I've decided I don't want bottom surgery of any kind. Um, if I did do bottom surgery, it would be the metoideoplasty and not the phalloplasty. But um, I don't have any um, real dysphoria with my um, genital area, basically, and I... Um, the, the, between the cost involved and the possible complications with it and everything, I'm like, you know, I, I don't know if I actually have any desire to. That may change in the future, but um, for now, I have no need um, to, to do that. Um, the only complication that will come from that is when I transition and I start looking and sounding more male is the whole public bathroom issue because I'm not going to be able to pee standing up and you know um, and so I would always have to use a stall and I know not all men's bathrooms have stalls I think most of them do um, but I would always have to use a stall I would always have to sit down and you know once I'm once I'm starting to look and sound more masculine you know I can't really use the ladies room I mean because the women in there were just gonna look at like wait wait what are you doing in our bathroom um, but at the same time um, I might feel unsafe in the men's room unless I have a friend with me so that's gonna make things interesting um, so we'll see how that goes <laughs> I, I'll just have to strategically plan my bathroom breaks let's put it that way <laughs> and this is a problem that I know all um, gender queer and transgender uh, people face is like well once you start looking and sounding like the gender that you're turning into or, or that you are and for me for me it's like I'm because I'm not transgender because I'm bigender um, the the vocabulary behind it is a little bit more wibbly wobbly for me so when I'm hesitating around gender names and pronouns and things I'm talking about myself um, I, I know when it comes to a transgender woman, she's a woman and a transgender man is a man and, you know, um, but I am both and my transition is going to reflect that, that I will look and, because right now I present feminine, even though I've, I've got a binder on, but there's a, plenty of women that have flatter chests um, and plenty of women who wear short hair and that kind of thing. I don't present my, I, I mean, I, I, I wear unisex, unisex clothes and I am presenting myself about as masculine as I possibly can right now and you look at me and you probably still think that's a girl. And you wouldn't be completely wrong there. I am, and that's why I say I'm bi-gender. I don't, I don't fully um, identify as a man, but I don't fully identify as a woman either. I identify as both. And I identify as both um, simultaneously. I, I, I never like wake up one morning and, and think like, oh, I'm feeling more like a boy today and, or I'm feeling more like a girl. It's like, no, I'm just, I'm just always both. I've, uh, I will uh, say that some days I prefer dressing uh, perhaps a little bit more feminine, you know, maybe wearing more pinks or or that I don't really enjoy skirts and dresses anymore. I used to when I was younger, but 
um, I've just kind of lost interest in wearing um, dresses and skirts and things and I don't know if it's just a function of getting older because I know that um, my grandmother as she got older she stopped wearing dresses and skirts and she preferred pants uh, the entire time too and everything so she was more masculine presenting as well in, in many ways but she was actually um, born intersex uh, so although she was able to get pregnant and um, and have children um, she you know, I, 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 I don't know exactly how intersex she was, but um, she t she did tell me that she, she had aspects of both uh, when it came to her genitalia, if nothing else. So, um, and, and who knows if that wasn't a factor in, in, in my genetics or anything, and if, if the, the genetics behind that is what influenced my being by gender or not. I have no idea. There's still so much research to be done in terms of um, gender identity and gender expression and, and you know, how the brain develops and, and how people are born with, with different um, uh, gender, uh, you know, feelings and, and, and like I said, identity and that, and that kind of thing. So, um, who knows? So anyway, that's that's basically all I wanted to kind of to, to update you guys on. And sorry if if I'm kind of gonna just disappear for a while, and and things. And like I said, I really have no idea when uh, when or if I'll make another video. Um, if it is, it's probably gonna be uh, uh, regarding uh, my my transition journey and that kind of thing. So um, stay tuned for that if if and when that happens. Um, it, it's probably going to be a long road because, like I said, it's going to be um, the middle of March when I get to talk to my doctor, and then from there, I don't know if I can just go on testosterone right away, or if I need to go talk to a counselor for a year first, or if I need to go see an endocrinologist first because I've, I've I've heard um, other people say that that that's they, they see endocrinologists for their testosterone and things, so. I, I don't know, um, I, I'm just starting and having to talk to a doctor and, and go from there. So, so that's about it. Um, so again, uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And, um, you know, maybe one day YouTube will change their mind and, on the monetization thing. But um, until then, it, it's, it's, you know, sort of a protest in a way of me. Um, just stepping away for a while um, because and 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 because of this I actually canceled my YouTube red account because you know the I, I wasn't making a lot of money but I was making enough money every month uh, between my three channels to pay for YouTube red YouTube red's like 10 bucks a month and I was making about 20 um, between the three channels and so you know I was able to pay pay for YouTube Red and still have 10 bucks a month left over from what I was earning. And um, now that's gone. So, so sorry YouTube. Thanks, thank, thank, thanks anyway. I, I you know, I, you, you kind of shot yourself in the foot on that one because, you know, um, <laughs> the money, the, the money you were earning from me, uh, you paying me, you were getting back from me. Um, so, anyhow. Thanks everyone for supporting me and um, we'll see you, I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>